G'day guys, Greg here. Now it's kebab review time and today I'm at Oxenford at a place called Jack's Kebabs. I looked online, they got a 4.3 Google star rating. So how about we whip inside and grab one, suss it out and see what a Jack's Kebab is like. Let's go get one. Alright, here we go, the Jack's Kebab. I got a small beef and lamb today. $11.90 this cost, with sour cream and sweet chili sauce. Now I could have got a bigger one, uh, the medium one, which was $13.90, or an extra large one, I think that was like $15.90. But I got a small one today, because <laughs> I've got to watch my weight, don't I? But, I mean, it still does have a bit of weight about it. Let's see how much it does weigh. Wow, 446 odd grams, and that's the small one. Can you imagine the size of the large one then? That's what she said. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> anyway, let's open it up and see what it looks like. See how pretty it is. <laughs> now normally I take these out of the bag and then I'm left with a dripping mess in the end. But, oh, this one, I mean, it's a, it's a good size. It's meat falling out, so there's meat right to the top, too. Yeah, and it's an open-ended one, too, so be careful. You will want to leave this one in the bag because the drippings will go everywhere. Well, there seems to be quite a lot of meat in it. I mean, it's even got meat flaps hanging out the end. Let's grab this piece, see how good it tastes. Mm. That tastes good. Let me stick it back in the bag so I don't end up with it all over the inside of my car. Sorry mouse, no kebab for you today. Come at me bro. So juicy. Mmm. Which is funny because there wasn't really any juice pouring out the bottom. It must be confined juiciness. I can see quite a bit of lettuce there. I just got the standard lettuce, tomato and onion. Because, well, we're in a recession and who can afford to bully? Oh, jeez. But the juiciness of the ingredients on this just blended in beautifully with my sour cream and sweet chilli. Man, that was a really great first bite. Nice first impression. Hmm. Ah. Oh. I was wondering how I managed to spill it on my pants. But it seems like there was a side shot. Maybe one from the grassy knoll. Mmm, that sauce is looking good though. Mmm. That's pretty tasty. And wow, just look how much meat is in that. Looks like it's about 80%. Although it doesn't look like there's much sauce in there, so we'll see how saucy it is with all that meat. Mm. <laughs> well, it wasn't very saucy. 
but it was still pretty juicy. Anyway, I wonder what score I'll give this kebab out of 10. Well, value-wise, 11.90. And that's a small one which weighed about one and a half times a burger that would cost the same. Could you imagine the size of the big one? I don't even think I'd be able to fit it in my mouth. That's what she said. Flavour-wise, well, I did enjoy the flavour of this. It was just really nice mix of lamb and beef. I couldn't tell the difference, <laughs> but I can definitely taste the lamb in there. And the fillings, well, the beauty about this one, it was mainly beef. There was, wasn't really that much lettuce or tomato or onion in there. So that was even a better bonus. And it was nicely toasted as well. And the amount of sauce in there, well, it probably could add a little bit more, but well, I still enjoyed the flavour of this. It was really tasty. Actually, while I've got it here, let's see how much juice is in the bottom. Oh, hardly any. So it, it's not exactly running out everywhere. So maybe it could have been a little bit saucier. So it's like soggy, dripping through, just dissolves in your mouth without any effort. But I think this is a really nice kebab. So for my all over value, all over flavour, all over taste, all over everything score, for Jack's Kebab, I reckon this one deserves... Mm. 8.3 out of 10. The thing I really liked about this kebab was the amount of meat in there. I mean, I'm still nearly towards the end and there's just, seems to be tons of meat. So it's, it, they really do fill it full of meat. My only complaint really is, well, there's no sauce there. And, you know, I wanted that sweet chili and sour cream sauce just to soak all the way through there. So it was just lacking that bit of sauce. But besides that, mate, it's a pretty nice kebab. It's pretty tasty and, well, it's a good size, even for the small one. Like the small ones are large anywhere else. So, yeah, it's a pretty good kebab. And, What's my recommendation? Well, mate, if you're around Oxenford and you went to Deep South Chicken, tried something from there, and you're thinking, oh, mate, next time I'll go for a kebab, whip on into Jack's Kebabs. Tell them Greg sent you. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't think they'll have a clue, but the beauty about that place is when I was waiting outside, the, the old gentleman that works there, he came out walking, looking for me with my kebabs. So it was just a beautiful old school feeling of service and appreciation and for that yeah, that adds another point on for sure well i hope this video helps you decide where to go for your next kebab thanks for watching and i'll see you next time i eat a kebab Ooh, i love these things so i hope it's soon see you then Ooh, yeah. this is Greg's kitchen, where the